Good morning. Once again, it's a grand opportunity for us to look at the 40 days of prayer and devotion as we prepare for the second coming of Jesus Christ. This book is written by Pastor Dennis Smith. And for a number of days, I have already journeyed through a portion of the book. And today is another day. Another day where we go yet a little further into this great inspirational book that we have. This morning is day number 25. Day number 25. And the, the topic, uh, we are on section 4, Spirit Baptism and Abiding in Christ. And today's reading caption is The Path to Discovery. The path to discovery. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning that you have kept us alive. You have waken us up from our sleep and our slumber. It's a new day, Lord. We thank you for this day. We invite your presence with us even as we read this devotion. Fill our hearts with your word. Help us to be, help us to be subjective and submissive to your will and to your way. And Father, may we apply the application of this reading to our hearts so that we might be better persons for you, for those around us and for those who we shall come in contact with. Grant us their peace and your mercy, your grace, your forgiveness, your love, and save us in your kingdom. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> okay. The path to discovery. And this is day 25. The abiding in Christ's teaching is in the Bible is one of the most important truths that a Christian can understand. Everything hinges on experiencing the reality of abiding in Christ and Christ abiding in the believer. However, every Christian who discovers this glorious truth of Christ is in us as followed a simple path as their fellow travelers. They had accepted Christ as their Savior, but were burdened and bewildered by their Christian walk that was so sporadic in obedience and unfaithful in service. The longed for, the longed for, or they longed for a consistently faithful walk with their Lord, but never found it. They struggled with besetting sins, but the sins seemed to win the battle. They prayed and studied their Bibles, but that did not seem to bring the victory they longed for. After perhaps years of struggles, they came to the point of despair and weariness. Their senses of failure was overwhelming. The life of continual victory over sin seemed impossible to attain. Then one day they discovered the reality of the mystery of union with Christ. Christ living in them, once discovered, they were amazed at how simple this marvelous truth is, yet it had eluded their understanding for years. After this discovery, their life was never again the same. Their joy in the Lord was deepened and abiding. Their life was now consistently victorious, even over besetting sin. They no longer felt burdened or anxious in their service for the Lord, and their service became the, the most fruitful. The truth of abiding in Christ and his abiding in us, and how we are to experience a victorious Christian life, is so simple and yet so elusive that most Christians have never discovered it in the fullest. Today God is calling us to this amazing experience in Christ. Why? Jesus is coming soon. 
all who are ready to meet him will be just like him. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 1 John 3 verse 2 Their daily experience will have had to become one of complete victory in Christ if they are to be like Jesus when he comes. For even air hunter, we are called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that he should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, reviled not again, when he suffered, he threatened not but committed himself to him that judges righteously. 1 Peter 2, 21-23 Therefore, this wonderful biblical truth is of no small consequence to Christians living in our day. Jesus is coming soon, and God is calling us to a much higher experience with him than most of us have ever had. This devotional section is dedicated to the goal of leading all who read it to understand and experience the abiding God is offering to us. Christ in us, the hope of glory for his people, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Colossians 1, 29. <clears throat> when this truth is understood and discovered, the believer will proclaim from the depths of his heart, Christ did it all. The deliverance Christ gives lays all human boasting in the dust. Man can claim no glory for the victories over temptation and sin. All the glory will go to God and will be proclaimed throughout all eternity. That no flesh shall glory in his presence, but of him are he in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption, that according as it is written, He that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 1, 29-31 No glory for ourselves, we have none. That which we have gained is the glory of Jesus, our Father. Personal reflection and discussion describe the path most Christians who have discovered the truth of Christ in you, the hope of glory, have followed. How will understanding and experiencing the truth change the Christian's life? Why is this truth essential for the Christian to understand and experience? How desirous are you to understand and experience the truth of abiding in Christ and Christ abiding in you? For prayer activity, call your prayer partner and discuss the devotional with him or her. Pray with your prayer partner for God to continue to baptize each of you with his Holy Spirit. For God to bring revival into your life and his church. For God to open your understanding of the biblical truth of abiding in Christ for the individual on your prayer list. Include the following Bible verse in your prayer. See, darkness cover the earth and thick darkness is over the people. For the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Isaiah chapter 60 verses 2 and 3. 
New International Version. Bring us out of our spiritual darkness, O Lord. Arise in our midst and reveal the glory of your character through us. Draw many in our community to the light of truth you have given us. That's the end of 25, day 25, the path to discovery. God, breathe in us your Holy Spirit, Father. Help us to discover the secret of being in you and you in us. As we open our hearts, as we empty ourselves of the sins that so easily beset us, and give way for you to come in our hearts by the medium of your Holy Spirit. Father, may we experience the new birth. Endorse with power to be victorious over sin, to be victorious over every plot that the enemy would want to tear us down with. And then, Lord, that we might be a powerful witness for you, that others might see our lifestyle and be led to a knowledge of you. Forgive us of our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I lift up my prayer partner this morning, Camille and her family, the children, her husband. I place her in your hands, Lord, ask that you will guide her, will protect her, will keep her, keep the family together, provide for them. O oh Lord, I pray your blessing on them, that they will be closer drawn to you as a family, be closer drawn to each other, and that, Lord, salvation will be in that house. Remember, Lee, this morning, and his family he might be on the job. Wherever he is, protect him, Lord. Shield him by your love and by your power. Protect him from evil and from accidents and danger. Bless his family. Protect them, Lord. Keep them. O oh, Father God, may they be saved in your glorious kingdom when you come. Father, remember Vivian and her, her family, her husband, her children, their family, dear Lord. Some of them have families. Pray your blessing on them, that you will keep them and sustain them by your grace and by your power. Also remember Patricia, Lord, in a very special way. She and her son, their father, her, her extended families, her siblings, her mom. I pray your blessing on them and that you will provide for them. You'll guide her and protect her. You'll keep her in the other palm of your hands. And then, Father, that you will save us eternally in your glorious kingdom because we ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I say to you, walk with God and let him walk with you. Be blessed and be a blessing. Have a wonderful day in God's presence. God bless you. Looking forward to tomorrow, day number 26. And we are going. We are indeed going. Hope that these readings, these devotionals have been a blessing to you. They are indeed a blessing to me.